hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here welcome and hope you enjoy your stay in this family we talk about everything other thing career and personal finances okay so if it is what you're interested in please click the subscribe button and be part of the family so as you can see from the title of this video today i am talking about the geology questions interview questions that you can expect in a soft rock or in a coal mine so yeah i decided to make this video because it's that time of the year where people are job hunting and looking for jobs and some people will be getting interview into invitations so i hope this video can help you in your preparations like when you get invited for an interview but first things first in order before you can even get like an interview invitation your resume must be in order right because it's the first thing that represents you you know to the hiring manager or the recruiter so if it's not up to date then chances are you will not even be called for an interview so in my channel i also made a video how to write an ATS friendly resume so you can head over and watch that video and also I have another one with some tips that you need to avoid right on your resume so yeah this side we talk about everything educational guys we need to teach each other okay so spread the information as possible so today gear I'll be talking about specifically the technical questions because HR questions can be anything really you can't say okay i know they're gonna ask me this question like let's say tell me about yourself like it can be anything i think i had five interviews and all of them the hr questions were quite different so yeah so now i just want to start with like the technical questions that you can expect in a coal mine and yes i have my notebook here where i just wrote um some of the questions that i was asked you know in an interview before i landed my current role right so firstly one question that you can get you need to understand what is coal like they will ask you whether maybe you're in a gold mine or something like that they'll ask you what is coal right and then the second question that they, they can ask you is what is the difference between um a coal resource and a coal reserve you have done economic geology right so that should be easy for you but you should prepare and also when you are answering these questions you should be specific don't now start like explaining things like now we're gonna over confuse always be straight to the point economic geology will help you with this question and then the third question for example let's say you are invited in a coal mine most coal mines are in Bumalanga and stuff like that so you need to understand where that coal mine is located in the south african coal fields we have coal fields uh is it located on the vert bank coal field or is it located on the high field this is the information that you can get on the company website so when you do your research preparing for your interview you need to go to the company website and that is where you'll get this information because where are they located and stuff like that and then number four well you are invited for the interview so which method like um are they using is it an underground operation or is it an open cast know those things some mines they do have both say they have an underground operation and also um you know an open cast operation like ours so you need to understand and just also say to you know what happens in an underground operation and um like the open cast stuff like that and then the fifth question that can they can ask you what rocks are associated with coal in a coal mine we do have sims unlike you know in a hard rock where we have uh irif like we have just have to follow the old body in a coal mine we have sims obviously the coal is associated with like sedimentary rocks and also when you're answering don't just say sedimentary rocks just be specific name the sedimentary rocks we have sandstone we have shale we have silstone those are the common rocks that are found you know uh like associated with e coal. know those things they will ask you okay and then another question that they can ask you where in the stratigraphy is the like uh do you find coal and we know with e coal we find it like in the Karu super group um eka group and the furry head formation furry head formation like starting from kwazulu natal and stuff like that no way stratigraphy as geologists guys is that african stratigraphy so you should know way in the stratigraphy do you find equal so i've already given you a pointer there the Karo super group eka group 
body hair formation right and then now they can ask you what are the types of cold that are they you need to like they literally asked me this question in the interview and i was like uh, so you need to understand we have epid we have ilignite we have bituminous and then the anthracite don't go into detail if you don't know because obviously the different types of cold they differ like whether you know their grade is not the same some have got high age content you know high like a caloric value so but when uh, you are just from school don't get into too much detail you can just list them because okay we have p we have ilignite you know bituminous uh, obviously their grades they differ right and then another question that i can ask you this one they will definitely ask you what structures are detrimental like to the coal or what geological structures can you find like in your coal mine and those structures includes like a, a dolorite dike uh dolorite cells and stuff like that well faults well in our current mind faults like i've never seen a fault like they're not common but the common structures that are dangerous or detrimental to the coal is dolorite dike and a dolorite cell right so just name unless maybe if gay they say um explain how that structure is you know detrimental to the coal because if you have remember i said in a coal mine we have seams right so let's say we have an you know a dolorite dike like intruding you know in the seam it can displace like the seam you know or whether we have a seal in some cells can actually enter like migrate from like one seam to the other like you know like that so you can then start explaining only if they've asked you but if they did not ask you to get into detail hey don't confuse yourself because now you lie and also like ma dolorite dikes and still they can actually ban the coal like devotalize them so reducing their quality and obviously quality and i bet then profitability are you be right okay that's one thing that you need to understand and then number nine you need to like maybe another question that they can ask you they've asked me this question right we have low shedding crisis right now and we are trying to transition from you know what if fossil fuels like generating our electricity from a coal you know to renewable energy so they can ask you you know just to pick your mind like what do you think about the future of coal going forward and this is actually one of the questions that they've asked me you know so you need to also read on that understand like there are many articles when what do you think because do you see a future like in this company or do you see a future in the coal industry or just there just to get an internship get money or what like stuff like that so you should understand they can ask you the question and then the last question um number 10 um so what is coal used for like some people i, I don't want to say we all know what coal is used for, like for so you should if you don't know please google obviously first thing generate electricity and fossil fuels right so you should know those things i know it might seem like ah it's just a simple question hey when you get there like because when i prepare what you think they might ask you and then you start getting like surprises you know so always prefer prepare for those questions firstly i said you should know what is coal what is coal used for deadly what structures are they detrimental to the coal you should know that where do you find the coal like in the south african stratigraphy they might also ask where is that particular mine located you know in the south african coal fields read about the south african coal fields like i know because uh, for me at school we did not really spend much time on coal like coal did they teach us I, I don't remember but i don't remember but yeah you can just know like as a graduate geology you might you should know about coal i know people focus more on the platinum don't only push for complex coal is very important so make sure you know your story when you get there and then another question guys that they can ask you as i've said with the hr questions hr, HR questions can be anything one question that i can ask you tell tell us about yourself then that's when you introduce yourself okay i am xyz i am i graduated from school x you know completed my degree here just tell them you know with i feel like with the hr questions 
they just want to know you there's no wrong or right answer but also guys avoid over explaining now using terms and stuff like that like hey, hey, hey they will scrutinize you they will ask you questions the more you explain more now they will find something oh okay what do you mean about this how you have to you keep on explaining so keep your answers short and sweet and also guys another very important thing know what's in your resume i know maybe you have like don't just ask people to like revamp your cv like put stuff that you did not use and stuff like that like that <laughs> oh my goodness like know what's in your resume guys don't just put things that you have never used or you 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 included those things on your resume because you wanted to beat the it like the ats stuff like that please know what's in your resume because they can just ask you okay we see here on your resume you say you did this and this and this can you tell us more about that so if when you lied oh, oh my gosh you're gonna be in trouble and then another thing guys um if you have used any like softwares at school i know some people do geology together with gis and you use at gis maybe you or your lecturer or at school they organize for you um you know this software training courses like leapfrog or um micromine microstation whatsoever include those things in your resume that like it will give you pointers and stuff like that and then another thing um that you can expect like no they did not ask me that but anyways and another question that you can prepare for not i was asked in some interviews but some i was not asked safety safety is very important in a the mind they can ask you what do you understand about safety in a mind like safety it literally plays a vital role in the functioning of the mind like if an incident were to occur or whether it's a fatal one like the whole mind will just stop production will stop you know and when production stops like the mind gets affected because it might not meet you know it might target wabo and everyone will be affected because they might also cut your your bonus or whatsoever so please also prepare about he saved in a mind they just want to see how you think oh my gosh <laughs> this is out of question that he asked me but like sometimes they might even even give you like um a scenario guys like a scenario let's say maybe you are in a mine um underground you are in danger you know and stuff like that will you go like straight to the exit or just go back and stuff like that so those those questions that just want to see how you think you know and stuff like that so some question that can ask you is that like maybe if they were to pull you like in a remote area how would you respond or stuff like that so these are just questions just to test you and see what kind of person are you do you like going to the field because our as an intern value will be expected to go to the field to collect data you know to do some logging you know collect some samples so if we're not you're like ah me i don't know work in the field oh you know so be careful of those questions and also guys if it's an in online interview please be there 30 minutes before even if it's on teams like please be there 30 minutes before i remember my interview there <laughs> oh my gosh it was um on the email they say that uh it was starting at 10 a.m and i was like okay cool 30 minutes before i was already seated in front of my laptop waiting for the interview guess what at half past nine 30 minutes before i get a call hey i'm like mm -hmm. okay who is this one okay I'm like, I, I picked it up because i didn't know the number and we're like we're waiting for you um you know uh can you quickly hop in the meeting i was like Oh, okay obviously i on the call i said okay and then now i'm panicking i'm like it's half as nine the interview starts at 10 like what's happening now i'm panicking because like yo what do they think this one is late but i'm like no man i know the inter the email says 10 but anyways because i was already prepared i was already seated just waiting i was like okay give me one minute i quickly looked in room everybody seated on like obviously go 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 ms hey, microsoft teams yeah boy. and i was like okay, okay hi introduce yourself 
you know they introduced themselves you know yeah well and then the interview started and it didn't even take like 20 minutes so always be on time guys ungathi be there in five minutes all because anything can happen because they here for me what i picked from this is that they actually wanted to test how fast can i respond because in the mind hey sometimes it gets busy you know you work under pressure can you cope like can you quickly when they say go here can you go here or be like i, sh I still need five minutes to finish this you know stuff like that you like always be prepared like just like that and then i was like okay cool and then we did our interview and i landed the role so Yes, guys, I don't want this to be long, but these are the questions that can help you when you are preparing for your interview in a coal mine. Mostly the technical questions. Uh, HR questions, always prepare. Like, always prepare what you did, your weaknesses, what are your strengths, and all those things. But, yeah, guys, this is me. Like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be part of the family so you cannot miss out on any videos because... This year, I am going to be doing more educational content, mining based, just to teach fellow graduates and other students who want to come and work in the mine. So yeah, guys, see you next time. Bye.